Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Zox6 and welcome back to Persona 5 Royal. Last time, the Ace Detective revealed everything up to this point. In today's video, from Sojiro, Morgana, and Futaba, welcome home. Let's go talk to Soj. Papa Soj, Papa Soji Milk. Oh, by the way, the police report on your death isn't going to show up at your school. No need to worry. Seems Prosecutor Nijima worked out some kind of deal with the higher ups or something. I mean, they haven't even said anything to me, even. As long as you stay quiet, you'll be well, fine. I and I guess goodness. if they reported your death now, they'd basically be saying you were a phantom thief. They can't really go announcing what the phantom thieves are, so I'm sure they'll avoid that. Sure thing. Um, at any rate, I'm glad you're back safe and sound. But even that's putting it too lightly. You had it rough in there, didn't you? Only a little. It wasn't the worst. Sorry. Kitty was after you all along. I knew it was risky, but we had no choice but to depend on him. But thanks to your tenacity, you were able to fool him. It's payback time. Let's make him regret underestimating the Phantom Thieves. I have a question. If... If Sai's cognitive version of Joker was a Phantom Thief, and ended up in that room, that would just make it... Actually, I guess that would just make it the perfect copy, wouldn't it? I feel like that would change how he sees her, how she sees him. Hmm, weird. But I guess that's actually helped out. Your phone during the school trip? That kind of came in handy. How so? Well, remember how I put that wiretap app in Akechi's phone? Basically, that let me see GPS info for two phones, yours and his. I'd be able to tell the precise moment Sai Nijima, who had your phone, ran into Akechi. That's when I saw my chance, and beep, sent the signal to activate the Metaverse Navigator. But there was a chance they'd just pass each other without saying a single word. <laughs> That's why we needed you to tell Sai Nijima to show the phone to Akechi. This plan still surprises me no matter how many times I hear it. Still, I couldn't just directly hack into the Metaverse Nav. It's a mysterious app after all. But you know how it has that bookmark function? All you have to do is push the button. Making the phone think he was pushing that button was totally doable. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? Awesome. Anything it else? It may not have looked like it, but everyone else was risking their lives too. Though there's no doubt you were the most at risk. I mean, you actually got arrested. But it seems like all the drugs and stuff made you forget the details of the plan. Want me to explain how it all went down? It might take a bit. Definitely. Well, since the rest of us didn't get captured, we had to act. We had to pretend we never wanted you to get arrested. Pretend the suicide news was a real shock. Basically, we had to act like we didn't know anything, 24-7. The enemy knows who we are, so we couldn't let our guard down even once while you were gone. If they had people watching us and realized what our plan was, they would have killed you immediately. Want to hear more? I do. Another tough part was figuring out how to get Sai Nijima and Akechi back from the metaverse. In order to return to reality, you have to go back to the point where you came into the metaverse. So, Sai and Akechi had to go through where the nav was activated, as in, the hall where they met. Akechi would just come back the same way after the assassination. The real issue was Sai Nijima. We needed to stop her for a moment before she headed back toward the interrogation room. But nothing can be sent to a phone inside a palace. So, I had to program the messages in beforehand. In doing so, I made it seem like the messages were coming at that exact moment in time. That part was kinda last minute, so I had to pull an all-nighter trying to get it set up. I'm really on a roll here. Wanna hear some more? Yes, please. Let me see. Another problematic thing was... Oh yeah, tying a catchy up. That was really tough. Uh, I obviously don't mean the real Akechi. Even if we could do that, it would ruin our plan. The one we had to tie up was Sai Nijima's cognitive Akechi. This part's really complicated. I know you're tired. Are you sure you want to hear all of this now? Definitely. Well, we needed to lure Akechi into Sai Nijima's palace and have him kill the cognitive version. But Akechi would have entered the palace immediately after meeting Sai Nijima in the hallway, right? Because of that, there was a pretty decent chance he'd run into the cognitive Akechi. And if that happened, Akechi would have totally realized we'd lured him into the palace. 
Nobody actually even thought of this possibility until the night before the assassination. Makoto realized in the middle of the night, then it was a huge mess trying to figure out what to do. In the end, we chose to sneak into the metaverse while the plan was happening to tie up the cognition. Because you told Sae to show him the phone, we expected her to chat with him for at least a bit. So, we had a few minutes to strike after the cognitive Akechi showed up, but before the nav activated. It was Operation Tie Him Up! Though it wasn't really much of an operation in the end. Thankfully, Sai Nijima didn't know his true nature, so the one that appeared was an ordinary kid. It was pretty simple surrounding him, knocking him out, and tossing him on another floor. But man, watching Makoto's skill was super amazing. I guess she does use Knuckles as her weapon. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, appreciate what everyone else did. <sighs> I just can't help but rant when I'm talking about stuff that interests me. Sorry about that. Just focus on resting up. You don't have to worry about anything else. And seriously, well done. Thank you. And, as she said, we should head to sleep. I'm gonna head back then. I guess I'll head home. Go to bed, alright? Let's go to sleep. Guess he won't be going to school for a while. Don't worry about it. This'll be a breeze compared to what we've had to face so far. And we'll have all the time to come up with the plans together. To be perfectly honest, I don't really care what happens to Shido, one way or the other. But when I consider the fact that he's your enemy, I naturally think he's my enemy as well. I'm going to stay with you until the very end. Well then, we should get to sleep. You know, something that Futaba said before. When you were in a pinch in the palace, she picked up a reading of someone who came to your rescue. Was that... I think you know. So it was Yoshizawa. Then we'd better let her know you're safe now. And I'll even lend you a hand with that. Okay. God dang, bro. It has been a while since I have recorded this series. It's felt like a fucking month, to be honest, but it's been like three days. <laughs> it's just great to be back and not have just straight up story content. I can actually move around again. Very fun. Um, yeah, man. That entire sequence has just been awesome. It's funny to me still. <laughs> like... I don't know how to describe it otherwise. It's just an awesome game and awesome sequences. There's no point in even having an election. Shido's gonna win. No, Mr. Thomas. Of course, he's the only reliable politician there is. Plus, the current government has been getting wrapped up in scandal after scandal. Even more importantly, there's just an aura about him. Like he can fix whatever problems we have. Honestly, it doesn't really matter to me who does it. I just want to see our society back on track. Especially after it turned out those phantom thieves were nothing more than scum in the end. I'll show you. <laughs> I heard you went home, so I announced it during homeroom. Are you okay? I am, thanks. You're alive! The news is reporting you committed suicide. Call me when you can. I was so confused. But, as long as you're safe. Don't worry about school. Just take care of yourself. Heart! Is it true that the leader of the Phantom Thieves died? How could the police let him commit suicide in jail? They need to get their shit together. Cut that out! Quiet down, you're in class. Break's been over for quite some time now. I swear, you're like monkeys in a zoo. Huh? Oh yeah. I received word from Cruz's family that he'll be absent for a bit. Jeez, what do you people think school is anyway? It's almost time. It's almost time! <laughs> oh my God. I don't think you can go higher than that. 
Pee 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 pee. Hey, it can't be true, can it? Uh, please tell me you're okay. I'm all good. Oh, thank God you're safe. The suicide report was all over the news, and Miss Kawakami said you went back to your hometown. I was honestly worried about contacting you. Even Sakamoto was dodging the question when I tried to ask him. But don't worry, I won't tell anyone. Uh, by the way, the fan site is a real mess right now. But I'll keep supporting you from the shadows. Uh, good luck. Hey. You don't need to worry about it in here, but try not to do anything to draw attention. Anyway, today's a day off, so eat your curry and take it easy. You can take your time with it too. It's not like any customers are going to be showing up. Wouldn't? Okay. Wouldn't they catch you, like, come back here? And just talk to Sojiro? Who wants to try and think of the keyword once the Chief's curry hasn't energized you? Beep, 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 beep. Have you guys figured out the keyword to Shiro's palace yet? I've tried, but all so I've tried all sorts of stuff, but no luck so far. It is hard to understand the thought process of a criminal mastermind like him. You know, I've been wondering, if he's been behind all those mental shutdowns, doesn't that mean all the weird accidents from these past few years were his fault? Like that subway accident back in April. Now that you mention it, the accident lost the Minister of Transport his job. Wait, are you trying to say Shido caused that accident? But it's a subway, does he not care at all about innocent lives? This man seems to be truly unbelievable. Supposedly, there are still tons of victims from that in the hospital, even now. Masayoshi Shido. How many has he killed over the years? How could we ever understand what goes on in the mind of such a horrible man? Hey, wouldn't it be faster if we just go there and try and think about it on site? Let's try that. If we're going to go, I'd like Akira to join, but... Will that be okay? Won't somebody spot him there? Eh, we'll probably figure out the keyword in no time once we're there. Plus, I can throw off anyone who tells us with my blazing speed! <sighs> Alright, let's have Akira can join us then. Remember though, we're going with the intent of not being seen. Okay, well, let's meet in front of the Diet Building and force that bastard's palace open. Alright, let's right. to the Diet oh. Building. Make sure you aren't discovered, okay? Fuck you, Morgana. I'm Morgana now! I just realized my mic is probably peaking because I can be loud today. You going out? That's the plan. You gotta be kidding me. You realize you're done for if you get caught, right? Smoking's bad for you, idiot. <laughs> the stunts you pull sometimes. Just don't stay out too late. Will do. Alright, head into the diet building. Okay, she isn't here. Let's begin at once. Police cars are making rounds, so we can't stay here too long. We already have Masayo Shishido and Diet Building. All we need is what he thinks of this place. Maybe Mount Fuji, since it's the highest place in the country? Conditions have not been met. What about a mansion? Since he's going to subjugate everyone as Prime Minister, perhaps a school? What about an arena, like the Colosseum? Imperial Palace? Conditions have not been met. It's no good. I thought we would have gained entry by now. Maybe we shouldn't have called you here. Hey, you think he's guarding his whole palace with a barrier? Shido stole the cognitive science research, right? Well, maybe it had some special move written in it. Is that even possible? Who knows? I've got no idea. There was nothing like that in the notes I saw. Anyways, what kind of person is Shido? I can't figure him out. I did some light research on him last night, but I couldn't get a grasp on the type of man he is. Over there is probably a legislator, right? I'll try asking him. Excuse me, I'm a member of the newspaper club at my high school. May I speak with you for a moment? Sure. What kind of person is Representative Shido? What's he think about the national diet? His stance is dedication for country. 
is how he's garnered everyone's trust. He's an admirable man of action with a first-class determination. I'd say he's a model politician. I believe that he'll help create a wonderful future in which young adults like you can live in ease. An exemplary answer. Notice how Ahn's acting wasn't that bad? See, characters are developing real nice like. It makes sense he wouldn't tell teenagers anything unnecessary. Look over there. He's on a walkie-talkie. Wait, is it about us? That doesn't look good. We should leave at once. Tomorrow's the day off, so let's have an early strategy meeting. Meet at LeBlanc, okay? We should all think about this tonight. The criminals calling themselves the Phantom Thieves are no more. However, I believe that this country's citizens are still living their days in anxiety. It's been like two days. What the fuck do you want from people? These scandals only increase our distrust of the current government. As a citizen myself, I am enraged. Look who's talking. What does it mean to be a politician with responsibility? Working toward personal gain without consideration of the country is outrageous. <sighs> the election's public notification is tomorrow. But no matter where I go, people are cheering for Shido. Everyone's being deceived so easily. I tried looking Shido's interviews up online, and they all sound so goddamn fake. I checked his profile as well, but I couldn't find much outside of his title and education. He's currently 53 years old. That motherfucker is 53?! What? <laughs> Shido's like 8, bro. Calm down. And has gone from being a metropolitan... Metropolitan assemblyman to a representative. Though he is a cabinet minister, he split from the ruling party to form the United Future Party. Shido's a cabinet minister? For real? He was specially appointed to the position. That's his current title. Apparently, he also won a contest for people who would most like to have the... Who people would most like to have as their own boss. See, that just sounds... That just, that's just worded weirdly. Mainly because it's a weird thing to have. Even the news sites write about him in his story. He's pressured to become the pressured baby. If only they could find another meeting behind Shido's word. In order to save this country that has been tainted by villains, social reform is essential. Ugh. What's with all the love for Shido? I get no one knows the truth about him, but it still creeps me out. And on that note, take your heart. Yay! Pretty sure I already showed off that poster. And if I didn't, well, sorry, I love it. Uh, the room gets more decorated with Phantom Thief stuff as we go even closer to the end of the game. It's fucking awesome. I love it so much. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you all enjoyed. Next one, Persona 5 Royal. We're going high up in the sky. So until then, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, everyone.